Hi, I'm Jennifer and the creative blogger and digital artist for Life is Messy and Brilliant. Today we're going to explore the similarities and differences between the apps GoodNotes and Keynote. Alright, let's start with the main differences, which is editing the planner. In Keynote, you can change the cover of the planner to any color or image. One way is by expanding the tabs. Each tab represents a different month and each month is collapsed. So we're going to open up all the tabs and then select all, go to the paintbrush, oops, and this will um, open the background. Here you can choose a different color or we can select a different image. All my images are downloaded offline in the OneDrive app. That way they load faster as I'm editing the app. For example, let's choose this one. And as you can see, the planner, all the pages in the planner have a really beautiful background cover. We can even edit the slides on one specific month. For example, I'm going to, I just want to work on the month of May, so I'm going to select the tabs for the month of May, I mean the slides. You can either do it this way by selecting, keeping one finger on the one slide and then selecting each one of them, or if you have a keyboard case, I suggest you expand it, hold the shift key down and go to the very slide of that month and click it. Now all the slides have been selected. We're going to select background, choose an image. And choose a new background cover. There we go. Now all the slides for the month of May have a different cover, but if you jump to a previous slide, you can see the previous cover, which is pretty cool. This is something you cannot do in the GoodNotes app. And it's something that I'm always looking forward to as I want every month to be different. I want to see a different cover, see different colors. Um, just have something that is very unique and personalized. Now, let's jump into editing the tabs, which is something you can uh, do only in Keynote and not in um, GoodNotes. What you're going to do is select the tab, like fill, and here we can also select a different color. But I always prefer to select an image. It gives it a cheek and unique style. Now we have to repeat the same things for all the other tabs. In my description box, I will link to all the websites where I love um, finding all these beautiful background images or patterns. I love collecting them as I can always use them for different things. I can use them for the headings on my planner. Uh, the background, I can use them to create beautiful borders for my uh, spreads. I will make sure to leave a, li a link in the description box for you to download them. Right, once all the um, tabs have been changed, we're going to click done and there you have it. It looks so beautiful when it has a personalized touch. There we go. All right. Something similar between the Keynote app and the GoodNotes app is the ability to click on the hyperlinks, which is all these blue um, arrows that you see in the tabs. We're going to click play. For example, if I click on the habit tracker, it takes me automatically to that page. No matter what hyperlink I click, it will take me to that specific 
page and even month. For example, this is the index for the month of March. In GUNOS, we also have the same option. The only difference is that we click on this pen with the line across it, and then we're able to click on all the hyperlinks. Now, in the GoodNotes app, we can only click on the hyperlinks, but if you go to the Keynote app, in the Keynote app, we're able to change the hyperlinks by clicking on the arrows. So we can click Link Settings, and we can either change it to a different slide, a website, an email, or a phone number. To change it to a different slide, we we'll click to Link to Slide, and just select a different slide. We can also change the text on the hyperlinks. For example, let's say I don't want to have a meal plan right here. I'm just going to select the three dots on the top, click Find. I'm going to type meal plan, which automatically highlights that word. And I'm going to change it for You're gonna select the word replace, and there you have it. So you're gonna click this little arrow, and that will change the word on every single slide. Now, if you do this on the Mac computer, you only have to do it once. It's a little bit different on the Mac computer. But on the iPad, you have a little bit of limitations, not much, but uh, as you can see, you might just have to have to extra click a couple of times to be able to replace the word on every single slide. There we go. This is something you cannot do on the GoodNotes app, unfortunately. Another difference between the Keynote app and the GoodNotes app is the ability to edit the spreads. For example, let's say that I don't like this spread and I just want to create a whole new one. What I'm going to do is select everything on the page and delete it and create a brand new spread. I can do this in two ways. I can either drag one of my printables into the um, Keynote app This is a PDF printable. I can just drag it and drop into the Keynote app and then I can easily just draw and type on it. And I know that this is in week one, even when I click on the another hyperlink, let's say I go to week four, and then I want to go back to week one, it will show me that spread or that printable. In the GoodNotes app, you can, however, take a screenshot of that printable. Uh, for example, it was this one. I'm just going to take a quick screenshot of it. And let's say I want to put it on top of this spread. So we're going to add it as an image. Which you can still see some of the previous layouts. And then way to hide them is by going to the pen option and selecting the color white and using 
I'm changing the size to the biggest uh, format that you have and covering the little parts of the printable that you don't need or want to show. And there we go. That's another way for you to use a printable. Now, the only thing is that when you zoom in, you may notice that the graphics or the fonts lose a little bit of their sharpness. Well, in the GoodNotes app, even if you zoom in, the fonts and the images will still look um, not as blur but they'll still have a pretty nice um, touch to where you can still see them sharp, which it's not a big deal, right? Another difference between the GoodNotes app and the Keynote app are the shapes. For example, when I use the pen option in the Keynote app, I can create a straight line when I hold my pen on the page for a while or for a couple of seconds. The only way I can create a straight line in the Keynote app is by going to the shapes and selecting the straight up shoe oh, and selecting the straight um, line tool and going to the paintbrush and changing the opacity or the uh, width. In Keynote, in Good Notes. you can create a straight line by holding down the pen on the page. As you can see, it creates a straight line. And the only thing is you can change the width on like the GoodNotes app. You can create all the shapes by Selecting this tool Something that you can do in the GoodNotes app that you cannot do in the Keynote app is adding pages in between the planner For example, let's say that I want to add a PDF image a PDF after the calendar All you're going to do is select the plus and then you can click import and we're going to find that PDF printable and there we go it adds it in between the pages the only difference is that this um, adds all the pages on that printable for example this printable starts the week on Monday and also on Sunday so you can just delete the printable that you don't need. Let's say I'm going to delete the Monday version. There we go. Now, once you zoom in, the quality of the printable it stays the same. You can see all the beautiful, sharp images, the fonts, just like in Keynote, but this new page will not be linked to the hyperlinks. For example, if we go to May and we click weekly spread one, it will take us to this one that has this screenshot, but not to this new uh, PDF that we added in between the pages of the planner. So that's just something to keep in mind, which is great if you just want to add a um, couple of pages here and there. In the Keynote app, you can add pages between the planner, but they will have to be Keynote file pages. For example, let's say I want to add one of these weekly spreads from this other uh, Keynote file. I'm just going to copy that slide. 
go back to the planner and click paste. Now that new page will be here and you will have to go to the index and automatically um, add the hyperlink as it will not add. For example, if we go to, let's say we're gonna go to the habit tracker and then we're going back to the week one, it will be this one and you will have to also manually add the hyperlink for this one, which is pretty easy. Um, all you have to do is click on the blue arrows and select link slide and choose the new slide will be, which will be 166. Um, it's pretty easy to um, add or delete slides in the Kino file. Keep in mind, adding the slides between the pages will not break the hyperlinks, but if you delete a page that is linked to one of the um, arrows, it will delete the hyperlink. For example, let's delete this one. You will get a warning that says if you delete this one, it will also delete the link, which is something to keep in mind when you're editing the pages in Keynote. And let's say you don't want to add a page in between. You can just delete that old spread. And just copy the spread from one of these editable ones. Oh, done. Copy. There we go. So now this new spread will be linked to the hyperlink because we didn't add or delete anything in between the slides. We just deleted that old spread and added this new one. So let's go back to calendar and let's go to week one. Oh, we're in April, sorry. May, let's go to week one. There we go. So that's another way to edit the spreads. You can either just copy and paste an editable spread that comes with a planner or just delete the whole spread, add a printable or create a whole new spread using the uh, tools in the paintbrush setting. All right, here is another difference between GoodNotes and Keynote. So on Keynote, let's say I want to add a couple of more images to the spread. So what I'm going to do is open my files folder and find my images. All right, let's say I want to add this jar and I want it to go on the back of this part. So what I'm going to do is zoom in and then select the paintbrush and go, go to arrange and click on this option. See how you can easily layer all the stuff on it and I can even change the opacity so it looks a little bit more faint and I'm going to change the opacity of my calendar by changing it to no fill. There we go. Now, even if I put a number over it, and we still can see that beautiful um, jar on the background, which is something you can do in GoodNotes. In GoodNotes, you can put images one on top of the other, but you cannot send one to the back or one to the front. Um, let me show you really quick. Let's say I want to use this spread. And let's add maybe this feather. Let's put it really pretty here. And let's add this heart. As you can see, only the image that I put uh, on top of it will be the one on top. I cannot put, I can, there is no way for me to move this image to the back. The only way is if I go to the lasso tool, turn on images, 
and then I click on this one and then I cut it and pasted it again. Now you can see that I was able to layer the objects one on top of one another. That's the only way for me to be able to layer um, items in GoodNotes. If you add a, let's say, you highlighted this box right here and then we added some more designs to it. You can go to the um, lasso tool and turn off handwriting. That way you can easily move the images and vice versa. But you cannot lock them in place. In Keynote, you can actually lock objects in place. For example, let's say I want to lock these images in place, so you're going to select them. Go to the paintbrush tool, select a range, and then lock them in place. Now I want to move these items here. You can easily do it without having to affect the lines or whichever object you decided to lock. In the GoodNotes app, you can actually do more in the with the tools than in the Keynote app. For example, let's say I want to use the highlighter tool to select this. So I'm going to choose that and quickly highlight the um, shape. And this one you can select, turn on handwriting, there we go. You can also resize it. and you can change the color. You can add it to your stickers. You can just add it as an element to a new collection. Let's say I want to add it to the bows. And then you go to the stickers, go to the bow section, and there we go. There's going to be your hand, uh, handwriting or drawing and you can type on it several times. Let's say I want to add a quick box to it, like, and put it on top of it. You can actually move both objects by use, uh, turning on the handwriting and the image options in the lasso tool. In the Keynote app, you can do something similar um, let me find my habit tracker. Let's say I'm going to draw it by using this tool. Let me change the opacity. And let's say I want to change the color. You're going to click on it and select a different color. And let's say I want to add a text on top of it. So you're going to click the plus text. Oops. You can either try to lock all the objects behind this or hold your finger over this one and then with your other finger, select the item behind it. Now you can move both of these at the same time. Um, similar to GoodNotes, um, just a little bit of a workaround. And um, the only thing is you cannot use like the lasso tool to select both the text and the color. The lasso tool will only work for the color. Let's talk about the differences between the pen and the eraser in the GoodNotes app. In the GoodNotes app, you have the option of these three different uh, pen styles. I prefer the ball pen. Um, I noticed that in GoodNotes, I can actually zoom in really close to draw on the screen. Um, and it's a lot smoother to draw on the screen using the GoodNotes than in Keynote. 
For example, in Keynote, it tends to lag very little, but it's noticeable when I um, draw several things and when I try to uh, hand draw several things at the same time. I'll show you really quick. Um, if you go to the Keynote app, you can only zoom in up to this point. Unlike the GoodNotes app, you are able to zoom in pretty close to the um, to the frame or to really close to the page. That way, you could um, write neatly. Um, I personally prefer this. I prefer to have more um, zoom in to be able to draw really close and to get to the little details of the page. On like a keynote, if I try to write um, here, it's not going to be the same. There is that one. If you're trying to decide if you want to use the Keynote app or the GoodNotes app for college, um, I highly suggest you use the Keynote app to fill out your monthly planner or your weekly planner. For example, if you want to fill out the things you need to do during the week or fill out your calendar, definitely go with the Keynote app. It's, um, it's quick, it's easy, you can personalize it any way you like. But if you need to um, type your notes in class and then hand dry your notes in like a chemistry class, definitely go with good notes. Okay, I want to show you the eraser part. Now the eraser, you can either um, precisely delete a specific part of the word. For example, if I wanna delete these little details or here, or maybe in between the letters, that will be precise. And then the stroke one, it will delete the whole word. For example, if I want to delete this, this, and just that whole thing. That will be something, that's another option that you also have in Keynote. Um, if you go to the eraser. Let me activate it, go to the eraser. You also have the option to delete uh, precisely on every word or you can delete the whole object and let's say I want to delete this little piece and here too maybe here and here there we go or if I want to change the option and delete the whole thing this that there we go that's another option that you have those are the eraser is pretty much similar between GoodNotes and Keynote. That doesn't change at all. Now, let's say I want to change the background of the planner or the template. Like I don't want to use the dot paper. In Keynote, you're going to uh, select the paintbrush tool and write what it says layout. You're going to select a different, for example, this, all my planners include a blank template. Uh, let me zoom in so you can see a graph, you can change it to a line, um, or you can go back to just the regular dot one. So let's say, let's leave it a graph, and that's how it looks. Now in good notes, it's a little bit um, different. You can find this, the, the extra templates here. If you click on that, you will go to the blank one for the month of May, and this is the graph one and the line one. Um, it's a little bit different. The way you want to add them to those extra blank pages is by take a screenshot save it to the photos and then go to that specific page you want to use it. So we're going back to the main index of May and let's say we're gonna use it on this and you don't wanna use the dot uh, template. 
simply add it as an image. There we go. That's another way for you to add the templates into the planner in GoodNotes. The only issue I see with this is if you add, for example, let's add another image. You will have to be careful when you want to select everything or when you want to select several things. For example, this is a specific image and move it around. But if you want to move several images or pictures at the same time, you can do that as the background image or the uh, paper template would move. So you just have to be a little bit more careful when using um, the GoodNotes app. I hope this video was interesting and helpful. Don't forget to head over to my shop. I have a couple of editable planners that you can use on your uh, computer. These two are for computer or iPad. This one specifically is for you to be able to edit in the PowerPoint app. These other ones you can edit on the Mac computer or iPad. I also have a video tutorial that explains how I use my planner and how I edit them. Um, let me know in the description box what other videos you would like to see and what um, other ideas you have in mind.